Hello, <coughs> it's Peter Rosthorn, and I'm into creating a case study. Uh, this is the second screencast in a series of three screencasts discussing um, the situation where we're having a Wikiversity course issue badges uh, based on milestones the learner has completed through the course. In the previous screencast, I, I discussed the scenario. Um, in this one, we're going to look at what is required to uh, implement the sort of technology behind a manual issue of a badge associated with a Wikiversity course. So as you can see, here is the course outline, a bunch of information. Already been through that. Uh, the most important part here is here is the actual sort of chapter in which the badge is going to be uh, awarded for. Uh, at the top of the, the module page, uh, there's a criterion evidence. And here we have an individual who has completed uh, the module um, and has sort of registered for uh, uh, the badge. So this requires uh, a little bit of evaluation. So as you can see here, um, they submitted this web page that is mobily aware. Um, and has some CSS and, and some JavaScripting involved to make the page morph itself to the d mobile device. So here's the regular web, web page. If I was to pretend that this is going to show up on a mobile device by making the screen smaller or the width of the screen smaller, you can see that the page has morphed or changed based on the uh, size of the screen. So there it is for a web page, uh, and here it is for the uh, actual site for the actual mobile device. Um, if I want to look even further, I can view the page source. And as you can see here, there are a number of uh, attributes from the style sheet, which is a part of the course requirements, um, and that sort of idea. So this person has clearly shown the evidence of completing the requirements for the course. So if we go back, we can see that the course's chapter had uh, had some criteria, which was to take a web page, create some cascading style sheets, that sort of idea, and some JavaScript detect, and that's all good. Um, so now we need to award the badge. Um, so what that's going to require is, from a manual perspective, is I'm going to need to create uh, the correct files to do so. Um, and there is two steps to this. Um, the idea being is, is that the JSON file, um, which is going to be issued for this particular earner, um, requires a custom uh, hashed string um, to be inserted into the JSON file. So here's a look at the JSON file um, that we're going to be building. And as you can see here, there is this sort of customized uh, recipient, which is a hashed value. Um, and the hashed value is the combination of the person's email and an assault value. Um, and this can be shown, uh, what I've done to render this page. So here is this whole page uh, rendered within a web browser. But the PHP code that's required for that is here. So as you can see here, there's the text. It's the same, it's the same text at the top of the page here as is actually on the web page. Um, but the difference comes in that um, there's some PHP here uh, that calls the uh, hash function to take a SHA-256. Here is the email address, which is actually my uh, email address, and the salt value. Um, and so for demonstration purposes, I, I've used my own email address. Um, I will hash that together, and, and then this is going to be the link of how to actually have the earner claim the badge. I'll take a look at that in a moment. But as you can see here, this page renders this SHA-256 hashed string. I will take that hash string, and I will put it into the JSON file. So as you can see here, this is the person's JSON file that I've needed to create for the manual issue of the badge. And as you can see here, this string is the same value that is from this hashed value. So I have put that particular um, string into, into the JSON file. Some other stuff here. Here's the person's evidence page, you know, when it was issued. Um, here's the issuer, which is the, the course itself. 
Uh, here's the criteria for the course, which points back to the Wikiversity course. Uh, here's the location of the PNG file. All is good. So here is the JSON file. Here is the <coughs> page that creates the uh, hash. So once I have created this JSON file, um, I, uh, I am going to then need to upload it to the internet location um, where it will be claimed. So here's the JSON file here that I've created um, and I will use FTP to upload it to my server and as you can see here once it is uploaded to my server um, this same file exists on the server. Um, with that server uh, file now in place I can also claim the badge so this will go through this link next and and it goes through um, how we claim the badge and put it in our backpack so that will be the topic of the next screencast and uh, look forward to seeing you again